eight years, man. A lot's happened. I think it's cool, you know? It, it feels good because it was like, Fast and Furious 1, it really, um, it was my introduction to Hollywood. And, um, you know, for me, it's like, it's, it's seeing Vin and seeing Neil, the producer, and just being back on set kind of feels like, oh, you know, like you can, you know, build friendships with cool people and like see each other years later and it's like yesterday. So if, for me, it's, it's more of an emotional thing than anything. Well, of course, the action helps. <laughs> you know me, I love action. Everyone can relate to having a vehicle. Everyone can relate to wanting to press the gas on that vehicle and to take that vehicle as far as they possibly could. I think everybody's thought about it at least once or twice in their life. If not everybody, at least 75% of people that have ever driven a car. <laughs> so I think that that is pretty much where the attraction to the Fast and Furious franchise has be began and has kept going. I think it, it stems from that. And it, you live in a, you know, you live an ordinary life and you don't do much. And then you have this, this vehicle that you get into, a machine that, you know, with the flip of a little pedal is zooming you faster than you can ever run. And you're doing things that you could never do with your body. You know, the body that God gave you. <laughs> Well, that body included a brain that can invent cars, which is really cool. <laughs> it's really interesting um, because it's very rare that in film I see a, a proper description of this type of person. And I've met many of them. I met many girls that are very Letty like. I mean, with the exception that they don't break the law as many times as she does, but. You know, just girls that aren't scared to kick ass, girls that aren't scared to get their hands dirty, girls that just, they don't fall under the mold uh, or category of your typical, typical female. You know, looking for a husband, looking for somebody to take care of them, wondering about, you know, having kids and holding up a family is the only thing on their minds. These are, these, are, these are women who, you know, who are out there and they kind of want to explore the world. They're curious and they're not scared, you know, to put their lives on the line in the name of excitement or fun. And, you know, they'll still have a kid on the side. And it's, it's really amazing. But I think that, you know, rarely have we been able to express the heterosexual aversion of this type of person.